If you take your hand like this and put it flat against your throat and you make this sound, your voice box is now off. Okay, there's no sound coming out. So S is a stretchy sound, but your voice is turned off. Okay, on, zzz, off. Sss. Now you try. On, zzz, off. Sss. Good. Here's another fun one. F. What sound does F make, everyone? Good. When you make the sound for F, your top teeth are going to sort of lightly bite your bottom lip. It's a lip biter. And you're going to make the sound Try it with me. Good. Like the sound you hear at the beginning of fish or fairy. Now put your hand flat against your throat and tell me if you think your voice box is turned on for the letter F or off for the sound that F makes. Ready? On or off? What do you think? It is off, good, think off, F, excellent. F is a stretchy voice off because you're not using your voice box. You're just sort of blowing air between your top teeth and your bottom lip, good. Now we have another letter that's a lip biter just like F, except it's this one, V. V makes the sound you hear at the beginning of vacuum, like you're vacuuming the floor. V. Okay, make the V sound with me. Ready? V. Good. Now you get your magic finger up on the top of the V. We're going to pretend like you're tracing over it with your finger while I do it with mine. And we're going to make the sound together. Go. V. Good. V is another stretchy consonant sound. Okay, we're using parts of our mouth to make all of our consonant sounds, boys and girls. Our mouth is not open. Be careful you're not opening your mouth like you are with the vowel sound. Okay? So V is another stretchy consonant sound, but where does it go? Voice on or voice off? Try placing your hand across your throat and tell me if you think your voice box is turned on for the V sound or off. Ready? What do you think? On or off, boys and girls? Yes. V is definitely on. Think V voice on. V voice. Do that with me. V voice. Now, you're doing the same exact thing that you're doing with when you make the V sound with your mouth. Mm, top teeth on your bottom lip, except this this time you're using your voice for mm. You're doing the same thing for this letter right here, letter F, except you're not using your voice for F. So F is voice off. And V is voice on. Mm. So V is for voice, F is for off. Just like S. S is off. But you do the same thing for this letter, only you're turning your voice on. Did you hear that? Did you hear the difference, boys and girls? I'm still stretching out both sounds. I'm not even stopping in between. But with Z, your voice is on. And S, your voice is off. Try it with me. Good. Take a deep breath and we'll try it with V and F. Ready? Sorry, I messed up. Good. So these are on. These are off. And they're all stretchy. All right, we're going to go a little bit faster just because I showed you the cool tricks I wanted to show you with how you make the same, your mouth go the same way for V and F and Z and S. So now we're going to fly through the rest of these letters. Okay. This is letter R. 
Be careful when you make this sound R. A lot of students, and actually a lot of teachers will tell you that R says er, and it does not say er. R says R, like you hear at the beginning of rat and run. Okay, it is a stretchy sound. Make the R sound with me, ready? Good. If you didn't get your magic finger up and trace over it, please do that one more time. Go. Excellent. Okay, so think R is for rat and run. Okay, it is a stretchy sound, but what do you think? Is your voice turned on for the stretchy R sound or off? It is voice on. Okay, so R is going to go up here with the vowels and with Z and V because they're stretchy and your voice is turned on. Excellent. The next one is W. Be very careful. Keep your lips almost completely together, not the whole way pressed together but almost together, sort of like you're blowing, just like a wind cloud would blow. Or like you're blowing into a whistle. Try it with me. Good. Okay, so W is definitely stretchy. What do you think about your voice though? Is your voice gonna be on for the W sound or off? Let's try. What do you think, boys and girls? Give me thumbs up for on. Thumbs down for off. If you're not sure, you can pause the video, you can take your hand like this, place it across your throat, and you can see if you can feel your voice box. If you do feel your voice box vibrate, it's gonna be a voice on stretchy sound. If not, it's gonna be voice off. Go ahead and try. Ooh. What do you think? Thumbs up, very good. W is a stretchy, Voice turned on. Ooh. Good. Sort of like you're blowing in the wind. Ooh. And that is the correct way of making the sound for W. Okay, we have a couple more to go over. Our next one is letter N. Okay. When you make the sound for N, you're gonna press your tongue against the roof, which is the top part of your mouth, right behind your top front teeth. Okay, and you're going to stretch out the sound, but notice that if you took your hand and you covered your mouth when you make the sound, the sound will not change because the way that you make the sound actually is coming from air that's coming in through the tunnel in your nose. Okay, N is a nosy sound. I call it the nosy N. And next we'll do the nosy neighbor, the one that's right next to the letter N, that's M. Okay, so M and N are the nosy neighbors. I'll just put, oh, drop them on the floor. Sorry, Mr. M. Okay, these are what I call the nosy neighbor consonants because they stand right next to each other in the alphabet. M's right in the middle of the alphabet. N comes right after M, N, and they're both nosy. That means the sound is actually coming from air you breathe out through your nose. Okay, your nose. So let's do nosy N first, okay? The sound for N, you press your tongue against the top of your mouth right behind your front teeth. Ready? Mm, good, like nut. N is a stretchy sound and your voice is on. Your voice is on and your the air that's coming out of your nose is actually helping you make the sound. Mm. Try the nosy N sound again and try covering your mouth. I promise you the sound will not change because the sound actually comes from the air that's coming out of your nose. Okay, try that. Mm. See, even when you cover your mouth with your hand mm, and you make that sound, it's not going to change. Same thing with this nosy neighbor, M. M is also stretchy. Your voice is turned on. 
the sound is actually coming from a little tunnel, the little holes in your nose. But for M, this time you're gonna press your lips together to make the sound for M. Ready? Good, stretch that sound out with me. Make sure your voice is turned on. Lips pressed together, here we go. Excellent, that's a really easy, nice sound that's stretching. It's a nice sound to make, it's easy. Okay, just to prove to you that it's a nosy neighbor, cover your mouth and tell me if it messes up your sound. I promise if you make the M sound correctly, it won't, ready? Mm. Yep, I'm covering my mouth and guess what? Sound does not change. M is a stretchy voice on sound. And we make the M sound by pushing air out through our nose, just like the letter N. Mm. A couple more. We have H. H. H is a sound you hear at the beginning of hot, hat, heat, and horse. Let's make the H sound. Ready? Good. Get your magic finger in the air to form the letter H with our pencil or finger, we are gonna make a tall stick from the top the whole way down to the bottom and a curve or a tunnel, ready? I know it's really hard to stretch out H for a long time, but believe it or not, it is a stretchy sound. Okay, you can hold on to it as long as you want, as long as you're not running out of air. Okay, let's make the H sound one more time, ready? Very nice. What do you think about the letter H? Is our voice box turned on or is it off? If you're not sure, take your hand and put it against your throat and tell me what you think. On or off? If you said off, give yourself one quick pat on the back. H is a stretchy sound, but your voice is turned off just like it is for s and s. One more time, ready? Very nice. Okay, we have, oh, here's one. Letter L, put it right on the middle there. What do you think about L? Do you know what sound L makes? Think of the sounds you hear at the beginning of lick, or like, or lollipop. Okay, make this sound with me, ready? Oh, good, you're sort of pressing your tongue towards the top front teeth, but this time it's like at the bottom of your top teeth, like oh, try it, oh. What do you think about L? Uh, we know it's definitely stretchy. You can hold on to it for a long time. Ready? Oh, good. Stretch it out for me. Here we go. One, two, 